This week on Government Matters. This is going to make a very big competitor for CACI. Reuters reports Lidos is close to a $5 billion merger with Lockheed's IT shop. How will the Pentagon react? We're really looking for them to create the right kind of team that can go ahead and meet all 16 of the objectives that are in the RFP. The First Responder Network Authority wants proposals by the end of April. The goal? Deploy a public safety broadband system nationwide. From ABC7 and News Channel 8, this is Government Matters. To our viewers around the world on the American Forces Network and here in the nation's capital, thanks for joining us. Government is the engine that runs this city. That's why government matters. Every week we'll bring you the top headlines in tech, security and management. I'm your host, Morris Jones. In security matters, the next step for FirstNet. This month, the First Responder Network Authority issued its final RFP for the deployment of a nationwide public safety broadband network. Proposals are due by the end of April. The agency expects to make an award in the fourth quarter of this year. For more, I'm joined by T.J. Kennedy, president of FirstNet. T.J., refresh our collective memory. What is FirstNet and why was it created? FirstNet was created as an outcome of the 9-11 report to really focus on making sure that police officers, firefighters, and paramedics all had access to interoperable communications. Now, you issued a final RFP or request for proposals last week. What exactly are you looking for? We are looking for a partner to come forward and offer to FirstNet to handle all of the key objectives for public safety that they need in a nationwide network that will be able to handle voice, video, and data to help support the life-saving operations that they perform each day. Now, there's a lot at stake here. We're talking billions of dollars and 20 megahertz of spectrum. Tell us more about those two elements. Is there a price tag on this RFP, and how will that spectrum be used by the winning company or companies? The very unique thing about this RFP is it takes together a number of things that were put into the act to make sure that public safety would be sustainable as they were to execute both the deployment of this network and the maintenance of the network. The three things come together as the funding that was put forward with Spectrum to be sold, which is part of the $7 billion in funding that FirstNet was delivered. Part two is really driving the fact that we have 20 megahertz of Spectrum that we will operate in for the public safety network, but also needs to be leveraged and leased to bring in value that will help drive the capacity and coverage that first responders really need. And the third part is user fees so that the network will be sustainable sustainable over time and not require other outside funding. TJ, for obvious reasons, this network needs to be secure. How does cyber factor in here? Cyber is one of our key 16 objectives of this network and is a key component to ensure that public safety both has cyber that is very usable, they're able to utilize the network in a, in a very straightforward way, and also secure since both medical records for the EMS personnel and law enforcement and other key databases will be accessed by other public safety personnel need to be secure at all times. Now we cover a lot of contracts on government matters. To a great degree, FirstNet is unique. Your agency is literally building something out of thin air. Is that a scary problem? process? Um, I think it's a challenging process, but it's also a great opportunity. We've been able to attract amazing personnel, both technical and business related uh, uh, backgrounds that have come together to make sure that public safety and the key public safety needs are met through a unique partnership that will come together through this RFP to leverage the spectrum that has been provided and also make sure that we have the coverage and capacity to meet the needs of public safety 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Now earlier I mentioned that proposals are due by the end of April. What are you you looking for from tech and telecom companies? We're really looking for them to create the right kind of team that can go ahead and meet all 16 of the objectives that are in the RFP. These 16 objectives together are what, are what will be evaluated for the best value solution that will really help meet first responders needs across the country. So much has changed from the TV shows we'd see from the 70s and 80s emergency one Adam 12 where we had police fire communicating. Now we've got an entire country and world for that matter that needs more spectrum. You also a second ago mentioned the need for video. This is more than just walkie talkies and first responders talking. They need to see what they're talking about as well, right? Absolutely, and this is really geared to be a broadband data network, a wireless broadband network. And with that, we expect to really have law enforcement and police officers across this country, firefighters and, and emergency medical technicians, leverage the power that video can bring them along with situational awareness data so that they can be both safer in their job, more effective and more efficient to be able to do more with less as they move forward to leverage technology that is available here in 2016. T.J. Kennedy, president of the First Responder Network Authority. Thanks and good luck, T.J. Thank you, Morris. 
That's all from Washington. I'm Morris Jones. We know your week is filled with other matters. Save this half hour for us.